five seconds now. When it comes to the, the pregame flyovers, that is something that you can see it a hundred times, and the hundredth time you see it, it's impressive. The sheer beauty of it and the extreme power of these things flying by and the precision. There's a bomber. Ah, look at the picture of that thing. Is it gonna come over? Yeah. That's impressive, isn't it? Perhaps the most impressive moment of the NFL pregame pageantry is the shock and awe of the flyover. My favorite part of the game is when the Jets fly over the stadium. I think they should do that before every game because it just signifies where you are and you're in the big leagues and you're about the game's about to start. I love all flyovers. I don't care. Piper Cubs in formation, helicopters, crop dusters. If it's a flyover, by God, what we're about to do is important. There's something about the size, the sound. You can feel those jets going over the top. A lot of times when you get the flyovers, it's just a surprise, and you're not really expecting it. I try to find out when we're having those flyovers, because if you don't know, they can scare the hell out of you. Big helicopter ones, you know, the big like, chuka, 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 like they're really loud and they feel like they're 10 feet above you. I love those. The flyover could be the most exciting five seconds in football. In a game known for its complex passing patterns and crossing routes, it only makes sense that a good flyover can give inspiration. Yeah, there are flyovers, and then there are different flyovers. I can remember being in Kansas City, and Derek Thomas, whose uh, dad died in Vietnam, and the flyover was always special to him. Whenever we'd have one, you could almost say, hey, Derek's going to have a big game today. A precise flyover is much like a fine-tuned offense in that it requires perfect timing and a solid game plan. Okay, mission objectives uh, for the day is an exact TOT over the center of Soldier's Field at Zulu time 21, 37, and 40 seconds. This is the stadium itself. Okay, this half loop looking thing. So the things that are biggest factor for us is this building will be uh, well above this building. You'll notice on the drive-in today, this building has a crane on the top. Okay, we should be offset to the right and that should not be a factor. You can see off in the distance, okay, Lake Point Tower is probably our biggest threat. Anything that's a factor for the flight, call it out, whether it's a tower, birds, other airplanes, tall buildings, you name it. I'm gonna fly right over the southern end zone, right. Uh, over the top of the uh, the goalposts and pressing straight out here with a right turn out uh, over the lake. While the Panthers are set to play the Bears, the flyover crew is busy making their last second adjustments. We're trying to make a time on target so that they fly over at the last note of the national anthem. Okay, everybody ready for rollover? Okay, paddle flight, run them up. In a post-9-11 world, a flyover can mean more than the beginning of a football game. A flyover can symbolize pride in a nation or a rallying call from tragedy. 
right after September 11th, the Giants were coming in to uh, in the Arrowhead. It was very emotional just because of the time, and then we had to we had to fly over. It just I don't know if there was a dry eye in the air. There's something about a flyover that is just unbelievable. The anthem is ending. It's hitting that beautiful crescendo. Plane comes over, and that's America. If you're around the world and you're watching that, I think you go, you know what? I get it. America's pretty cool.